Welcome to Crumbs 13. Good morning. Good morning again. Good morning again. <laughs> it's morning. <laughs> it is um, morning for us. Yeah. Yes, it is morning again for us. Um, we are soaking up the busyness of summer and the blessings of summer and the goodness of all the Lord has for us and the amazing ways that he Ugh. has been moving. <clears throat> and, Incredible. Um, and in that movement, it makes this a little more interesting. So we are grateful because he just plans our steps and we are happy to walk in them and thankful that he delights in them. And we haven't really done any like cross, I don't want to say promotion, but like communicated about what we're doing in our life. But I just want to say like, I do believe that the Lord is going to merge ministries together. And um, my friend Tammy and I, we own an ice cream shop. In New Haven, as Michigan, of this year. as of this year, um, so we, yeah, I just saw a meme that said like the best thing about being an entrepreneur is you get to pick what eighty hours a week you want to work, <laughs> and um, it's so true. And last night, Belinda came alongside us, and she served her heart out <laughs> with ice cream, and it's like I was in high school again. <laughs> oh, so amazing! And God showed up, and we had a night of worship out mm-hmm. there, and mm-hmm. people were baptized, and. Mm-hmm. Um, my husband and I were baptized last night. We have never been fully submerged water baptized. We were baptized last night. And God just did some incredible things at the jetty last night. And we <laughs> were both going to start crying. Had like over, I don't know, 200 people show up just to worship God. Over. And um, it's just incredible what, what he is doing out there mm-hmm. and what he's doing here on this channel. I mean... We've had a couple of these videos where, like, all of a sudden we have 3,300 views and nothing changed for us. Yeah. There's no, like... We don't do any of the... Algorithm, like, no. SEO, like, all of those things. And Especially because we don't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> but God is just moving and uh, using these videos. And so if you're watching right now, we believe it's you. so intentional. And we just thank you for um, being on this journey with us. So um, if you've been following along, you know that we've been studying through the Book of Romans, which is such a powerful book in the Bible. And today we are at Romans 8, 28, which is one of my favorite verses. It's, you know, when someone says they have a life verse, Mm. Romans 8, 28 is mine. Mm -hmm. Mine is uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lead not into your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Love that verse. Yeah. Amazing. So Romans 8, 28 is... Yeah. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Yeah, so this scripture, I think, is one that in the Christian community we hear a lot of. Um, But I think that instead of diving right to the middle, to the part that everyone seems to um, dive to, let's... Let's start right at the beginning. And we know that all things work together for good. Mm -hmm. Um, That is kind of that nugget. Um, How do we know? Like that was the first thing that the Father just really marked me with was Mm -hmm. how do you know? How would you know it was going to work together? If if you believe in Jesus Christ and if you don't, Mm -hmm. like how do you know? How does does he cultivate that faith in you? How How does one rest in the Father's power, presence, and purpose in them um, so that they can get through whatever trial they're in, they can get through whatever circumstance they're going through, um, and have his victory. How do you know? Well, it's so funny because going back to even last night, like one of the things that Belinda said to me earlier this week, we were going to be short-staffed, and we we were seeing all of this increased activity Mm -hmm. on the Jetty page, Mm -hmm. and I had texted you, and you had said, I will be there. Yeah. And um, I didn't see your text that you were running a little bit behind until... <laughs> that was good. <laughs> after it was all over. But um, I never, like, I didn't know exactly when you came or when you showed up. I just knew you were going to be there. Mm-hmm. And so how did I know she was going to be there, even mm-hmm. in the midst of everything going on and not seeing her there yet? How did I know? I knew because I trust her. Mm-hmm. Because we have the kind of relationship that it's a friendship with such intimacy and trust. Um, because I take the time to spend time with her. Mm-hmm. To not enough, not enough. <laughs> I'm just not enough. <laughs> but you know, we have we have fellowship and we have yes. friendship with one another. Yeah. And um, 
we're called, and, and, and as wonderful as this friendship is, we're called to a deeper intimacy with the Father than any mm-hmm. relationship that we have, even our marriage, deeper than that. Mm-hmm. And when we when we go to that place with him, when we know him, which um, it's so funny, I just told Linda this morning, I said, the Lord just had me studying, I think it was uh, Philippians, yeah, Philippians 3.10, when Paul says, I want to know Christ. That word know mm-hmm. in the Greek is, it actually is a word that's used for intercourse. Mm-hmm. Intimacy. Yep. I mean, it, they use it though for like mar- like intercourse between a man and a woman in mm-hmm. scripture too. So it is that deep intimacy that you have with somebody. Um, and, and God wants that with each one of us. Well, and, and intimacy, sexual intimacy was the design of um, bringing new life. And um, also it was... It was becoming one flesh. Yeah. You were becoming one flesh. And that that is like the Father desires you to become one with Him. That's why you welcome Him into you and He wants you to become one with Him. But it's funny because without us even knowing what He was going to cultivate, the scripture, my life scripture, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not into your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will mm-hmm. make your path straight. In my life circumstances throughout my childhood, and when that became my scripture, it was really just trusting on him, looking to him, counting on him, and learning about him so that I could trust him. One of the things when we first started this, um, God had really talked to me about the heart, and um, if I looked at another knowing that they loved the Lord and knew the testimony of their life, I could trust them. Right, like, and I one one of the first things I said to her is, "Don't ever not come to me without looking at my heart first, without knowing that my heart is for us, my heart is for this ministry, my heart is for what you have, what the Lord has for us." And um, when you when you know another's heart, when you know Christ within them then your offense totally changes. Then you can be totally transparent. Then you can totally say the hard thing and know that God is going to work it to good. So as you're talking about that, I'm realizing that, you know, and friendship is hard. Like even the really good friendship is hard because um, you get busy and you each are going in your own direction, right? And you're, you're doing your thing and all of a sudden, a few weeks pass, a month passes, a month and a half passes, and you're like, oh my gosh, we should get together. Oh my gosh, we should do this. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I miss you so much, you know? But I'm so busy with the kids, or I'm so busy with work, or Mm -hmm. whatever it is. And so God's reminding me of when when there is a relationship that is critical, super critical and important, like the one with the Father, Mm -hmm. um, there are certain disciplines that need to be in place in order to maintain and increase that relationship. That is what God tells us to read the Word of God because He's creating a discipline in us to get to know Him, to spend that time Mm -hmm. with Him. And I love how even in in our friendship, Mm -hmm. this has created a discipline in us. Like, Had we started this friendship and the Lord not put this ministry on our heart, how much harder would it have been for us to stay connected? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's the same with the Lord, the way he creates these certain disciplines or um, groups of people like fellowship and church, you know, the body, bringing the body of Christ together. Mm-hmm. So that way we can unite in fellowship with other believers, but we can grow in our relationship with him. And it really does like, um, it will, it shows your value. Like, what do you value? Like, mm. Are you spending the time? You know, it was interesting because one of the things when I wrote down, like, how do you know? Well, if I know his testimony, if I'm studying his word, if I know what his scripture says and I know it's for me, then that's how I know. And and do I believe it? Like, how does he, how does that scripture come alive in me if I don't ever read it? Um, You know, and he, it's amazing because when you go right to the beginning of Genesis, he spoke it into existence Mm. he spoke it all into existence and so it's his spoken alive word speaking it into existence and that is for you to speak into your heart to let it resonate to to let it heal you Mm. to let one of the things the father has been doing in my life with this script with scripture all together is for every 
hard memory I have, for every hardship I have, for everything that has um, taken, the Father told me, for everything that I, I let go of, to take and memorize his scripture, to memorize a scripture in its place yes. so it will nurture my soul mm -hmm. and minister to my heart and, and cultivate a newness and a fresh. The last thing before we move on from we know, that's such a big part wow. of this. I don't know, <laughs> maybe this is a two-part two yeah. thing, but um, is that word in the Greek is I do. Um, mm -hmm. And that, that word actually means to consider, to be aware. And so don't feel like, oh, well, it's easy for them to know, but I'm unsure or mm -hmm. I have doubts or <clears throat> let me just tell you, as long as we're in these fleshly bodies, we're going to have doubt. We're going to have moments where we're like, we get shaky mm -hmm. because we're not in the fullness of who we were created to be yet. Um, until we get our new heavenly bodies, we just mm -hmm. we we're gonna be we're gonna feel that spiritual tug of war um, with our flesh. So I just want to encourage you that it's the awareness of him. It's the awareness of the fact that it's all in his hands. It's considering how he might be using something in your life to work all the things together. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's not like with an absolute certainty that you understand everything. It's just considering and being stepping. aware. Mm -hmm. Stepping back. Yeah. Stepping back, pausing or stepping in faith. Yeah. It's a, it says, you know, um, it works all together for good for those who love God. So that just also brings right, do you love God? I, and what does he have to work together to good? Which means generally there was something bad that happened. So life isn't perfect. Mm. Um, circumstances are going to come. Sickness comes. Sadness comes. Uh, there, are, uh, there is a lot for the Father to work to good. There is a lot in everyone's life for the Father to work to good. But do you love him and do you allow him to move in and through you? Um, that is, you know, what do you, I can tell you, she's got something. The Lord told me to look something up, so I'm just looking something up. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, am I distracting you? <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> no. Um, that, that, that phrase, work together in the scripture, um, that he works everything together comes from the Greek word synergo, which is like our word synergy. Oh. And, um, so it means actually in the Greek to be a fellow worker. So it's so interesting because the Lord was like, I want you to look up the definition of the word synergy, though, in the English mm -hmm. language. And the definition of that word synergy is the interaction or cooperation of two or more organizations, substances, or other agents to produce a combined effect greater than the sum of their separate effects. Mm, that's super great. That is the promise that God's speaking over this verse, mm -hmm. is that he promises to work all things together, meaning whatever those things are that are independent of the whole mm -hmm. thing, those independent things, what he's working together as a whole is so much greater than the effect of those individual components of what's happening in your life. Yeah, don't get stuck in this moment, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it's for those that are called. And, it, and, and that word called in the Greek is to be invited. It's to be a saint. Mm -hmm. And scripture says that all were called. Thank you. That was all the next thing. All were called. And um, there's a, you know, being called and, and do you answer the call? Do, you know, like, mm -hmm. have, you, have you actually stepped into the call? Or, you know, there's this thing lately where people are like, oh, I can't say that about Jesus, or I might offend, or I might do this. Mm -hmm. You know, being unashamed of the gospel is just, letting his light shine through you yeah and letting his purposes work through you mm -hmm. and honestly i have found recently that i don't really have to say anything yeah just if i live it and as i've been um it says more than i could say mm -hmm. yeah so true it's so funny because we were at a basketball tournament and i had a woman come up to me that i haven't seen in years and she had said some things about her ex-husband. Mm -hmm. And I stood just very quiet. And then she said, I know that, she said, I know that you never say a bad thing about anybody. <laughs> not that that's always true. <laughs> not that that, I'm not saying that, that I'm perfect right. in that. But 
I've never ministered a word of scripture mm -hmm. to her. So for her to just go, oh, I know this. You know, people know us. I'm fighting with my cat right now. Mm -hmm. People know us um, because we carry his presence with us. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful thing. It is an amazing gift. Um, so the questions to be asked are, do you know him? Do you trust him? Mm -hmm. Um, do you trust him to work out your really icky, sticky situations? Do you trust him to move beyond um, maybe your sinful choices and help you to get through them um, through repentance? Um, there's cause and effect. So there's things that are going to happen in life where you, you have to work out the process and allow him to bring about the, the redemption. And that can take time. Mm -hmm. and, and then... Have you answered his call? And do you believe that he loves you and he created you in his image? Yeah. Go back to the basics. Go back to the start of your relationship. Go back, write down the moments when he meets you. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. I, is I, The journal that goes along with my Bible is always such a critical piece of remembering his promises mm -hmm. and remembering the ways that he's been faithful to me in different times leading up to certain decisions that were made. And so he's, he's giving you a testimony to share with the world. And part of that is just remembering what he's done for you because it's so easy to get trapped in the here and now and mm -hmm. forget what he did a year or two years or three years ago. Yeah. I wrote at the bottom of my page, my notes, nothing is a surprise to the Lord. Amen. So, um, He's not missing any detail of your life. Yeah, amen. So if you surrender everything to him, he'll, he will help and he will work it to good. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us today. And we can't wait to meet you at the master's table. God bless your day.